Recently, my wife and I were having a conversation, and uh, she said, Hey, did I tell you about that movie that came out this year? Uh, the one about uh, uh, Ignatius, or Ignatius, however you want to say his stupid name, uh, of Loyola? I said, What? Huh? And she said, Oh, yeah. She said, uh, There was this book, or this uh, movie, excuse me, that came out this summer, I think it was July, Ignacio de Loyola. August. And, uh, August was it? Okay never there she said it's august and i was like what on earth are you talking about so i came and i typed it in you know youtube search and sure enough there's the trailer for the thing and whatever else and, and i'm just like they made a movie about the founder of the jesuits <laughs> i was like so i started looking into this thing and uh pretty interesting information let me put up a picture here this is the executive director okay this is a movie company in the Philippines called Jezcom. I'm not joking. Look at the picture. Father Emmanuel, El, Emmanuel Alfonso Society of Jesus. There is what that means. The SJ there. And FR is father. It's an abbreviation for father. And he is the executive director of Jezcom. So the Jesuits are making movies openly now. Jezcom, by the way, originally uh, was a term coined by a priest, a Jesuit priest named Reuter, actually was his last name, uh, interesting last name, but uh, it meant Jesuits engaged in social communications. It was back in the 19, late 1960s, I believe, is when the thing came out. But this Jezcom uh, organization in the Philippines, they basically created this, you know, Ignacio de Loyola. And uh, the interesting thing about this is if you go to the IMDB page and you look at the rating, the parent's guide for Ignacio de Loyola, and you can, well, just read it here. I'll put it up on screen. It says, look at the things that's listed here. Parent's guide, sex and nudity, violence and gore, profanity, alcohol, drugs, smoking, frightening, intense scenes. So, let me get this straight. The church that Jesus Christ founded, the Roman Catholic Church, uh, is bringing out a movie with those things in it. And by the way, you say, well, no, it's just talking about certain rating categories or whatever. Uh, look, at the, look at the trailer preview. I'm not even going to put a link to the thing. But if, you, if you're like, huh, look at the trailer for this movie. Just type in the Ignacio de Loyola there a movie or something like that and it'll come up with a trailer for it and it's like really really wicked looking movie talking about the fact that he was into mysticism and all this other stuff i mean it's pretty wild but i thought this was very interesting you get these jesuits coming out with a movie and uh you can also look at this i might play a little bit of the video clip here um but the black pope was interviewed by the uh, Jesuit Post. You know, and they have a channel here on YouTube. And this young Jesuit is speaking to the black pope, the head of the Jesuit order, probably one of the most powerful men on earth. And he's saying, you know, what do we do about the youth and things? And this guy's like, you know, the black pope is like, we need to get through, you know, to the youth through social media. So let me play a little bit of this clip. At, at the Jesuit Post, one of the things we focused on is new media and reaching seekers. Do you see this as, as, a, as a frontier that the Society of Jesus is, is tackling and, and doing things in, not just in the United States, but across the world? Yeah, I think uh, media is, is clearly a new frontier, and we don't know yet how to, how to handle it. Mm -hmm. you know? And we will see later how much uh, computers and smartphones and other media affect the, the brain of the children mm -hmm. and the way of understanding reality and the way of facing the different crises that every person is going to have in life, we don't know yet. And that's why this is a frontier. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why it's a frontier, because we don't know. So there you go. Interesting. That's the Black Pope there that you're watching. 
But um, I just thought it was interesting because these guys are supposed to be, you know, Catholic priests. It's an order within Catholicism. You have the Jesuits and the Dominicans and the Franciscans and the, you know, all these different guys. They're supposed to be holy. Why are they putting out a movie with such violence and, you know, nudity and or the other things there? Sex and nudity, violence and, and gore, uh, profanity, alcohol, drugs, smoking, frightening, intense scenes. Let me show you the catechism here. This is the Baltimore Catechism. It says, the church always does the will of its divine founder. Really? So you're doing the will of the Lord by bringing out wicked movies. Sure you are. Sure you are. But... Uh, Let me see, i got to find the other thing here. This is some funny stuff here. The Sixth Commandment. This is page 124. Okay? The Sixth Commandment. I wouldn't wear that when it doesn't cover enough. Okay. I wonder how many Catholic women uh, aspire to that. Put that one back. That's a bad one. Impurity and immodesty. But they bring out a movie about the founder of the Jesuit order, and it says sex and nudity in the ratings section. Continuing here, it says, we are commanded to be pure and modest in our behavior, and uh, we should cover them modestly, our bodies and things. Okay. Next page. The sixth commandment forbids all impurity and immodesty in words, looks, and actions, whether alone or with others. So, this is what the Catechism is teaching children, and yet the Roman Catholic priesthood is putting out movies in violation of that. Okay. Continuing. Warning here against impure conversations, dirty jokes, looking at bad pictures. How about, uh, what are the chief dangers to the virtue of chastity? Drinking, immodest dress, motion, Pictures. <laughs> so the catechism is saying motion pictures are evil. They are the chief dangers to the virtue of chastity. Right there, you're looking at it. Motion pictures. But Jezcom is headed, the executive director is a Jesuit priest. Oh, yeah. Continue down here. Many fall because they do not avoid dangers. They go to movies which are objectionable <laughs> or which only adults should see. They read dangerous magazines or newspapers. They associate too much with the opposite sex and try to excuse themselves by saying that they have no bad intentions. Good intentions alone are not sufficient. Human nature is very weak where purity is concerned and we must keep far from all dangers or sooner or later we shall fall. Okay. So, you know, you got to take this advice, all right, because you can trust the fact that the Jesuits came out with a movie. I mean, when the Jesu when Hollywood comes out with a movie, see, it's bad. Okay? Let me show you again here. Page 42. Page 42. Talking about different types of sin. Bad movies. <laughs> Avoid near occasions of sin. Okay. So, you understand. When Hollywood makes a movie, it's bad. When the Jesuits make a movie, it's a tool for evangelism. Evangelism. <laughs> Evangelizing the lost. I mean, make movies about the founder of the Jesuit order, and that's a good thing. It's wonderful, even though it's... Sex and nudity, violence and gore, profanity, alcohol, drugs, smoking, and frightening and intense scenes. Yeah. I don't understand how a Roman Catholic can, can look at this type of thing and just go, meh, you know, it's no big deal. I don't see any contradiction. Catechism says you're to avoid movies, but you get a head of a, you know, movie company, and the guy's a Jesuit priest. 
You better wake up, Catholic. You better get out of that system.